It is November 17th, 2025, and we're tracking the potential for some heavy rainfall over the eastern half of the state going into Tuesday and Wednesday. Hey everybody, meteorologist Drew Davis alongside with you. We've got a no-hype weather forecast video for you today, like we do every weekday on this YouTube channel. Let's just get right into it and show you what's going on outside the window. A quick look at our first alert radar and satellite. Before we get into this, I do want to say that there's a lot of uncertainty in this forecast. I'm going to show you how drastically the weather models are varying, especially we're going forward into the future cast in just a little bit but let's start out just taking a look outside one of my professors said used to say you always got to take a look out the window before you really get into the forecasting aspect of what's going on so you'll notice a lot of cloud cover over the eastern half of the state these are upper level clouds that are moving in from the southwest a few windward showers moving over each uh each island right now but we're going to zoom out right now we've got this upper level low pressure system that's been hanging out at the mid and upper levels just to the southwest of the island and chain and because of the counterclockwise rotation of that low pressure system it's been bringing in these high level clouds at uh, over Maui and Hawaii Island outside of that we're going to continue to be watching this front that's off towards uh, towards our northwest this front is going to fall apart as it gets closer to us going into Tuesday and Wednesday but really that low pressure system and how strong it, it gets will play into how much rainfall we're getting especially as it seems like some of the models are varying so widely here's what we're tracking a first alert for those heavy showers. Right now, it looks to be over the eastern half of the state, really for Hawaii Island. Timeline, Tuesday evening, Tuesday afternoon, and a Wednesday. After that, we're going to be seeing breezy trade winds building in. And outside of that, we also have a winter weather advisory that was issued by the National Weather Service for the summits of Hawaii Island. This is going to start tonight at 6 p.m. and last until 6 p.m. on Tuesday. Right now, total accumulation of snow is up to 4 inches right now. That may change, but that's what the National Weather Service has put out as their official forecast let's just get into the overall weather pattern the big picture as i like to call it here's what we're watching going forward at the surface right now we've got high pressure off towards our northwest also off towards our northeast northeast not northwest uh these high the high pressure is still driving uh somewhat easterly trades out there east northeasterly is a little bit breezy at times these are going to get weaker because we're also watching that front that i pointed out just a little while ago that's going to get closer to us but fall apart as we go into monday and tuesday Tuesday. And you can see that getting filled in the lower pressure in between these two ridges as we're going into Tuesday and Wednesday. High pressure really takes over Wednesday into Thursday, so we're expecting strong trade winds during Wednesday and Thursday afternoon. As we're going into the weekend, some long-range models are already hinting at another front developing and moving closer to us, bringing a better chance for some rainfall, even maybe a surface load developing out there. So I'll show you that developing. You can see the low pressure developing on Sunday and also throughout Saturday. So we could see another round of rain rainfall going forward, but I want to focus on the chance for rainfall throughout Tuesday and Wednesday. This is an upper level low pressure system, and there's a saying within meteorology that an upper level low is a weatherman's woe, because there's just so much uncertainty out there. There's not a true lifting mechanism like a strong front or a dry line like you'd see over on the continental United States. Here, we're at the mid-levels. We were at the surface just a little while ago. Now we're taking a look at the mid-level flow, this lighter area off towards our southwest. That is that upper level distortion disturbance, the counterclockwise rotation around it, bringing those upper level clouds that we're seeing out there. This is going to hang around as we're going forward over the next couple of days and get sucked up closer to the trough that's dipping down from the north and northwest as we're going into Tuesday and Wednesday. How deep and how strong this trough, this low pressure system is, or this uh, disturbance around us is really going to play into how much rainfall we're getting and it seems like most of the models are showing that the best chance for rainfall again is over near hawaii island the trough is also going to eject a mid and upper level cutoff low that's going to move off towards our southwest that's not really going to be impacting us and then we start to see high pressure building back in as we're going into wednesday and thursday let's take a look at this at the upper levels as well because you can see that disturbance that's hanging around us right here the gfs and the european model are starting to come together a little bit showing that this trough is going to get sucked up in into the jet stream that's going to dip down from the south or from the northwest towards the south and southeast and this disturbance is going to get pulled up towards the north. The GFS model has been showing more rainfall than the European models over the past couple of days. But you can kind of see very uh, a lot of similarities in the American and the GFS models. And then again, you can see this is going to eject that cutoff low going into Wednesday and Thursday. You can see this is the European model. It looks very similar to what I just showed you. 
that disturbance right there gets pulled up towards the northwest. So I'm thinking that we might be seeing some heavy rainfall that could be staying offshore, some isolated thunderstorms that could be staying offshore, and then moisture that's going to get pulled up from the south because of that disturbance getting caught up in the trade wind flow as we go forward. So let's show you the first alert future cast. Again, there is so much uncertainty here. This is the European model, and I'm going to show you the American model, two of the global models that we rely on all the time. They're completely different, and we're only two days out, so we're really just watching for the, this trend. I'm thinking that it's going to be not as heavy of a rainfall event as we as some of the models have been hinting at the past couple of days, but you can see the development of showers and some stronger storms to the south of the Big Island going into Tuesday morning. This is around 4 a.m. The front off towards our northwest still getting closer to us, and then you see moisture getting pulled up towards the north and northeast that could get embedded in the trade wind flow going into Wednesday. Notice this is Tuesday afternoon, not a ton of rainfall was over the state, and then windward areas could be expecting rainfall going into Wednesday evening, a little bit drier Thursday and Friday, some moisture could be picked up along the trade winds, and then we could be seeing some heavy rainfall going into Saturday and Sunday with that surface low pressure system I was just taking a look at. Let's take a look at the local view. This is the GFS, which again has been showing more rainfall, heavier rainfall, than the than the European model. The development is we're going into Monday evening off to the south and southeast. You can see some heavy rainfall potentially impacting the southeastern side of Hawaii Island going into Tuesday morning. So this is towards South Point, the windward side of the island over near Puna Volcano, Hilo, the Hamakua Coast, and not as much right now, at least in this run for Kailua Kona, as we're going into Tuesday afternoon. Still some heavy rainfall hanging around. And then much like Wednesday, we could see some of this moisture getting caught up in the trade wind flow, much like the European model, excuse me. We could be seeing some of that moisture getting caught up in the trade wind flow, making for windward areas, seeing a better chance for rainfall. So an overall wet weather pattern is expected going forward. And again, let's take a look, another look at the European model, give you a, a local view. This is Monday evening going into Tuesday. Tuesday. This is Tuesday afternoon. All of that moisture stays just off to the east of Hawaii Island, gets pulled up towards the north, and like I've been saying, getting pulled back down by the trade winds going into Wednesday and Wednesday morning, Wednesday afternoon. So a wide, a wide disagreement, at least in these two model runs. So we're, we're really just going to be babysitting the radar. A lot of uncertainty out there. So we've got to watch this pretty closely. Let's just take a look at our winds outside right now. As of the recording of this video, around 3.30 p.m., you can see pretty breezy, between 10 to 15 miles per hour. Going forward in our first alert wind cast, lighter winds are expected on Tuesday because of that approaching front, really cutting us off from the trade wind flow. But going into Wednesday as high pressure is developing back to the north of us, it's going to get breezy between 15 to 20 miles per hour across the entire state for sustained winds. Our surf and shoreline forecast, north and west facing shores are on the rise. South and east facing shores also dropping out there for Tuesday morning. You can see some swell energy is going to be coming in from the northwest from that front that's off towards our northwest right now. And as we're going into the weekend, potentially a larger swell could be moving in for north and west facing shores. This is Friday into Saturday. That will likely trigger at least advisory level surf. Again, we're watching to see how that plays out in the weather models. Our island by island forecast for Tuesday over on uh, the Garden Isle. Scattered showers, cloudy conditions. Moving down to Oahu, 85 in town. Showers are possible tomorrow, mostly windward areas. The further east you'll we'll, we'll be going, you'll notice a better chance for rainfall. Scattered showers over Maui County. Wind gusts over there could still get closer to 20 miles per hour. 72 for a high temperature or a low temperature over in Kahului tomorrow, getting up to around 84. Showers more likely over the eastern side of Hawaii Island. Again, most of the moisture that I was showing was just to the east of the island chain. 82 in Kailua Kona. Cloudy over there. Lots of rainfall possible over the eastern half of the of the Big Island tomorrow. Uh, volcano, Pahoa, Puna, Hilo. has got a, a good chance for showers tomorrow. The northern portions of Hawaii Island, cloudy. Some of these showers could be heavy at times. Outside of that, we're tracking the tropics. And no surprise, no new tropical cyclones are expected during the next seven days. Hurricane season almost over. Uh, end of November is officially the end of hurricane season. Make sure to like and subscribe and smash that notification bell to get a, uh, a no-hype weather forecast video like this every weekday. And thank you for tuning in. Thank you for the, all the support we've been receiving so far. So I will see you tomorrow, weather permitting. This has been meteorologist Drew Davis.